We want to live in a world that makes sense, but we're also wired to make sense of the world. And, and there are many reasons why we never learn that we can't predict. And one of the major reasons, I think, is hindsight. So whenever something happens, you know, like, like the financial crisis, uh, people feel there are many stories and people come up and said, well, I knew it all along. Many more people come up and say this than have any right to say this. But the pernicious thing about, about believing that some people really knew the crisis was coming is that it gives you the sense that the crisis was knowable, that the world is knowable. That, I think, in many cases is just a pernicious illusion. So, in fact, there were some people, when you talk about the crisis, who thought the crisis was coming. And then, when the crisis came, they say, I knew it. But, in fact, they just were thinking it. And other people who knew just as much were thinking something else. So, that idea that the world is knowable uh, feeds into the persistence of overconfidence. In addition, confidence is not a judgment. Confidence is a feeling, it's an emotion by itself. And it's a feeling that's generated by the quality of the story that you're telling yourself. If the story is a coherent story, you believe in it. And it's just an emotion. It's not that you're judging, ah, the quality of my evidence justify this conclusion. It's the feeling there is a, there is a good story here, and, and that feels good.